Doctor Who, The Alien Invasion, Part 2. Outside SDC cell. Nervous Sarah looks up and the panel closes again. Doctor O.C., get a move on. Sarah is stuck. Sarah sees a bottom bolt. The other two only do easily. The doctor comes out. Sarah, doctor, what did you do? Sarah, doctor, what did you do? Doctor, ask me later. Come on. Corral, Corralla, ship. The theme here is brown and round. We get a glimpse of constantly angry alien. A boot, a head, a piece of tunic. Stregger gone. Crayford? Crayford? Crayford. I'm on to, yes, Hedragon. Hedragon? Crayford. A second region random hit on the cell area. What has gone wrong? Crayford. I'm on to second. Hedragon. Gone. Yes, one of the visitor section. Check the directive. Thought must have developed. Crayford. Monitor. It's not a false dragon. It's a remarkable success. Dragon? A success? Crayford, or Munter, they are space travellers. The doctor, as he is called, is a humanoid. The scientist advises on Earth defence. His companions are human. Tragon, I see. Then they are stones. Crayford, or Munter, they arrive by error. Tragon, perhaps by error, perhaps by design. Crayford, or Munter, design. Tragon, if this doctor advises on defence, or alarm sounds. Crayford, or Munter, cell block. Saragon, they must not escape, Crayford. They must not escape. Outside SDC closet, a group of soldiers run along a, a hallway. Pass a red access door, Sarah O.C. Doctor, what on earth did you do? Doctor, O.C. do? Sarah O.C., for them to lock you up, I mean, they seem to be taking you very seriously. SDC closet, Doctor, <coughs> I didn't do anything, just finding me... My premise is enough to upset Crayford. Sarah Crayford? Do yes, Sky Crayford. He said he was a senior astronaut. Sarah, but that's impossible. Craig Crayford was killed. Doctor. No. How? No. Sarah, that was the first test no. of the fix K5 no. space freighter. No. No. Crayford was put no. in the space, deep space. Then no. they lost him. The ship just vanished. They thought he was hit. Their strike. No. Well, the steps running out no. of the pass. Sarah. Guy Crayford is dead, Doctor. Crayford's office. Crayford, there's no cause for alarm, Stregagon. The station's being thoroughly searched, section by section. All exits are covered, and the guards have orders to shoot on sight. Stregagon. Oh, see, they can't demand, it. They can't demand that order. You must be kept alive for pattern analysis. Crayford, but Stregagon. We can already have a complete pattern for the village and the defence complex. Shogun, O.C. do as I say the doctor may have learned a corral pan. He may be here to spy. It's essential for us to know. Crave no Shogun. No, they must be eliminated. They must be destroyed. Base defence centre reception. The doctor comes through a fire door. Recognise the figure with his back to them. Doctor, well, well, it's a very, it's a small world. Sarah, isn't it? Hello, Mr. Benton. Benton turns and places his pistol at the doctor. Doctor Benton? Sarah, Benton, it's us. Crayford's office. Sarah gone. O.C., you shall do as I say. Crayford grabs his head in pain. Crayford, no, I'll, I'll no, stop, all right. He uses the intercom. Crayford, all units, all it is to kill is cancelled. Base defence cent central reception. Benton suddenly sags and bends forward, head to forehead. Forward, hand to forehead. Doctor, come on. Doctor, say and leave the building. Benton recovers and runs along the hall to the intercom outside of Crayford's office. Benton, this is B block, in main entrance. They have just escaped, sir. A soldier arrives. Benton, old corporal, alert the security premises. Alert the security patrol immediately. The rescue go after them. Spread out. The soldiers out the door. Run out the door. They look at the reception desk while they whoosh. Shut again. Sir O.C., why did you, we come back? We should have hoofed it when we had the chance. We're bound to be caught now. Dr. O.C., on the contrary. Dr. turns up behind the desk. Dr. The further they spread out, the better our chances escape. Crayford O.C. Sullivan. 
He ducks down as Crayford enters, followed by his sudden naval lieutenant. Crayford, you take a mobile troop and put the cauldron on the perimeter road. Harry, yes, sir. Harry leaves the building. Sir, Sutto, Harry's not a soldier. Dodder, that that approve our chances. Sir, all our friends. Dodder, led by dead men, fascinating. Sir, look, what's going on? Dodder, how do you know Crayford's dead? Sir, it was that story that came here f- on two years ago. Why? Dodder, I can't think Crayford died. I don't think Crayford died in space. But he finally got back here. Something's returned with him. Sir, what? Sir, Doctor, something that's controlling every human for miles around. Sir, including Harry and Mr. Benton? Doctor, yes. Come on. Sarah, what, where are you going? Doctor, back to the village. we got to warn London. At some, Woodland outside SDC. Doctor, so far so good. Sir, as a man said, we fell from skyscraper. Woof, woof. Doc, Sarah, docks. Doctor, tracker dogs. They run deep into the woodland. Woodland. Sarah falls. Sarah, oh. Doctor, are you right? Sarah, yes. Doctor, yes. Doctor, well, come on then. Doctor, Sarah follows, limping slightly. But you can't keep up with him. Me and Mother what would is pick up the scent. Doctor, come on. Sarah, can't. Hurt my ankle. Ankle. Doctor, I carry you. Sarah, no, you won't. I'll only slow you down. Doctor, give me your skull. Sarah, oh. Doctor, quickly, quickly, come on. I'll try to draw them off. You can hide in the tree. Sarah gives him the white scarf from a pink sailor suit. Sarah, but how? Doctor puts her over his shoulder and takes her to the nearest tree then boosts her up, reach a low branch. Doctor, come on, up. And Sarah safely up the tree, the doctor removes his jacket and drags it and scarf on the ground. Doctor, see you back at the pub. If if I'm not there now, I try to tidy. She runs off. Sarah, doctor, I've got to tell you. The doctor is out of sight. Sarah, the toddler is gone. The doctor's dogs lead the soldier straight past her, past her tree. A little way ahead, by the way, the doctor ditches his hat, jacket, scarf, and runs on. The doctor's come to a halt. Adams, he must have swum across. The dog is sniffing his shoe. Adams, right, you two, that go that way. We try to head him off. The hunting party divides. The doctor comes up for air. Sarah comes down from the t- tree, and tries to run. Adams spots her. Corral, ship, Saragon. Report, report, Crayford on monitor. The elves captured. We soon had the doctor. Saragon, no, locate him. Do not, but no, do not seize him. I have other plans for the doctor. Saragon's lab. Two soldiers carry a covered stretcher in and put it on the floor. They remove the cover to reveal Sarah. Meanwhile, Devonshire, Stevisham is once more deserted. The doctor crosses the road. Public telephone box. Unfortunately, he could not get a dialing tone. Soldiers leave Sarah strapped into a, onto a card curb bench with holes all around the outside. She wakes and struggles against her restraints. Harry, it's no good, Miss Smith. Hat Sarah, Harry? Harry operates a squiggly alien control to a console. Sarah is bathed in blue, pulsing blue light. Harry, she is ready. Sargon, I will see commence analysis of the brain. The light changes to blue, then yellow, and Sarah grows in pain. She sees the daughter's face as Saragon. Fur de Luz. A denter enters and tries the telephone on the bar. No dialing tone. He goes to the international goes to the internal door and opens it. Morgan, something you want, sir? Do, yes, telephone that works. Yours is out of order. Morgan enters the bar. Morgan, likely it is. Do, so this is the village call box? Morgan, there was a girl last night, sir. Put all the lines down. Oh, I was told that it's a bell, a wise one arrival. Morgan, can I get you a drink, sir? Doctor, yes, I have a pint. Morgan, what a pint or what? Doctor, ginger bell, beer. Morgan removes the cap from the bottle and pours it into a pint mug. The doctor books up the darts on a table near the board. Morgan, you must be one of them scientists from the defence station. Doctor, well, yes and no. Oh, no and yes, so to speak. As you, as it were, do you get much custom from there? Morgan, don't come down here much. Well, doctor, really? Morgan, nothing for them in Devonshire. Nothing for strangers here. Doctor, oh yes, too quiet, I suppose. Doctor, except for the darts club, night, of course. Doctor, ah, of course. 
Dr. Frogus three darts at the boulder and then the scythe the unorthodox style. Three roll dice, of course. Try to move movement, Dr. Hey. It's a brand new dart frog. Never has been used before. Pharrell's ship. The monitor shows a view for the dart frog. The doctor running his hand over it showed on the sea. He puzzles the fishes, but not certain. He turns the monitor off. The second row enters. Chitty Cray. There is no value in this. There is no value in experiment, Shogun. Our strategy is settled, Shogun. Strategy is formulated upon knowledge, Chitty Cray. Chitty Cray, the time for experiment is past. Shogun, case of Earth, yes. There are other worlds that our, our people can conquer. We want to see what our, our, our techniques are for us. And the doctor is unprogrammed, a free agent. Shogun turns on the intercom. Shogun, Crayford? Crayford's office. Sir Crayford? Yes, Shogun? Shogun, OC, commence the final test. Crayford, direct communication. Grail ship, Shogun, yes. Our preparations complete. So, Crayford's office, Crayford, they, they should have been to a different time. I will check, Shogun. Grail ship, Shogun, Tika. A data has been drained from the girl. Shows that doctors long associated with the relation causes. Entire history is one of our position to conquest. While he lives, he's a threat. Shogun, his history will end soon, said the Tika. When I have nothing to learn from studying him. Shogun's lab, the examination table is empty. A Crayford enters. Crayford, where is the girl? Harry, that analysis is complete. We have a memory, print, and body parameters. They're being coded. Crayford, right. Well, see, she's properly guarded. Shogun wants to run a test on the doctor. Program incomplete. Harry, yes, sir. We can begin at, tr- at once. Crayford, right. Good, good. Frere de Luz, the doctor's investigating a cigar. Nash trays and his magnifying glass. He moves it to brass. The brass is hanging on the wall. By the fireplace. Do- doctor. Yuck. Plastic black horse brass. Morgan standing right behind him. Doctor, I arranged, arranged to wait for someone here. Don't let me detain you, Morgan. That's all right. Doctor, well, I can see you're busy, man. Bowels to tap. Empties the count. That sort of thing. Morgan, no hurry for that. Doctor, right. Then I have another plate. Dot Morgan, a point of what? Dot well, ginger pot, please. Morgan goes back to the bar. Dot puts some coins on the counter. The counter looks at the calendar. Tears us the current date. Friday, July 6th. The bill. Friday, July 6th. The neath. And another, another. Dot the stranger. Village about the future. The phone rings. The phone rings. Dot the hands and sees the Morgan. Morgan, Friday, Friday, the looms. It's for you. Dot, is it? Hello, Sarah. What's happened? Where are you? This shop. Sarah, they've caught me. I managed to escape. Listen, Doctor. I found out their whole plan. No, it is one of their sensors. That's why we couldn't come there. Fred wrote lose. Doctor, where are you, Sarah? Village shop. Sarah, the village store. You can cut through it to it behind the hub. Yes, I'll wait for you, but Doctor, be careful. Those robot mechanics are planted everywhere. Further lose. Doctor, don't worry, sir. Well, who noticed me? Doctor puts the phone down and picks up again. Doctor, well, would you believe it? Sound of all again. Thanks for the food for the hospitality. Doctor leaves for the back door. Morgan does not move. Get Chedeke. Her injuries were to fail in her task. The grail invasion of Earth couldn't begin. Suppose the doctor were to turn her androids against us. It would jeopardize the whole oper- operation. So gone impossible. Cherodike, is it? He's a scientist too, Sergon. Sergon, well, the androids are centrally governed. Their program is controlled from here. Cherodike, it could be pre-programmed. He has the knowledge. Sergon, an interesting possibility. Cherodike, the androids are double-edged weapons, Sergon. They're unstoppable and destructible. Cherodike leaves and Crayford enters. Crayford, everything is ready. Sergon, Sergon, not quite. I need one more android, Crayford. I must call you on your experience for its production. Crayford, but you already have my data. I am Prince and the Disorientation Centre. So, and this is new. You must be pre processed. Crayford, Surgeon, I can't go through that again. So, again, I need one special unit. Android, program to attack crowds. Crayford, but I don't. 
Jago, no, not our good creator, come. Village shop, the doctor runs along a lane behind, between the quaint cottages, then crosses over to A.V. and M.G. Kirk's shop and enters. A bell rings and the door opens and closes Sarah. Is that you, doctor? Doctor, yes, of course it is. How did you get away? Sarah stands up from behind the counter. Somehow, she's lost her, she's got her scarf back. Doctor, oh, thank goodness, I've been terrified. Doctor, I left her, you up a tree. Dot, I climbed out of the tree and those, those soldiers were waiting for me. I was knocked out and I came round as in some kind of operating theatre, Doctor. So frightened. Doctor, yes, sure, I'm sure you were. Have some ginger pop here. He opens the bottle from his coat pocket and screws the top, hands it to her. She drinks. So it's delicious. Harry was there. Well, not the real Harry, of course, but I thought it was. Doctor, what do you mean, not the real Harry? So, well, Doctor, that's what, that's what they're doing. They're copying people. Doctor, who are? Sarah, I don't know. The grave is behind it all. Doctor, shh. Doctor, the roots for the glass. In the front door, to see two white suited figures emerge from an alley and stand next to number 36. Doctor, it can't be crazy, but go on. Sarah, there's mu- not much more to tell. They put me in some kind of machine. I passed out again. Doctor, how did you get away? Sarah, when I came around the second time, I heard the grave bird. Talking to someone, that's when I discovered they were plan- when they're planning. The lacy people with their duplicates they make. Well, they thought it was, I was still conscious, left me without a guard. Dodding, so you were lucky enough to find this place. And you tell for the place that what? So I don't understand, Doctor. I think they let you make the telephone call. Doctor, what do you mean? So I mean, we're being tested. They want us to find out how smart we are. Five figures that walk away. Well, great, Doctor Sarah. I can't can't be that. Dot of course it's that. Why I don't what I don't stand is what if they're so advanced in technology they make facile human beings good enough to stand face to face examination, sending them through a time walk to earth. What can they be afraid of? They must possess a reverie to take the earth by force. They create the bridgehead of stealth by using androids, fake humans, come on. Sarah, where are we going? Dot, well, there's a radio in TARDIS. Are you coming? Sarah, coming. Doctor, let's go. Sergon's lab. Crayfish is on the table. Sergon, this should answer your fears, Chattanooga. From Crayfish's memory cells, we can now we can now create a totally hostile for Android. Crayfish, don't, I pray for Sergon. I beg you. Sergon turns on the machine. The blue light pulses. It's joined by the yellow. Crayfish groans in pain and passes out. Check a key monitor. What is the purpose of Sturgon? Sturgon, watch. The skeletal android turns into soldier. Sturgon, you will now activate the hostility circuits. Soldier brings his rifle up to the ready. Half crouches. He swings round to shoot Sturgon, who instead shoots him with red energy bolts. A small held-held weapon. held held device. The soldiers swim back across the area and rise briefly on the floor before the becoming steel. Sergon, see? They're not instructed, Chutuka. What I can create that what I can create I can also destroy. The android turns to sit skeleton safe. Chutuka monitor that that, that weapon is new. Sergon, it's so far effect so far effective, only a short range. Our army section developing a much more powerful version for our space cruisers. Science Chutuka, science will make the crow is invincible. Woodland. Doctor and Sarah avoid the white mechanicals. They continue to the small clearing. Doctor, yes, yes. This is the oak tree. This is where we landed. Sarah, well, it's not here now, is it? Doctor, no, it's not programmed to us, Lord Reverend. There's a failsafe, unless. So, unless. What, Doctor? Doctor, of course I know. We've got a TARDIS key, haven't you? Sarah, I, lie, I must have lost it. Don't know, you haven't lost it. You never had it, Sarah. Came here. Turn the clock, locker, the key, key in the lock. Cancel the cruise control. Doctor continued on its coordinates back to Earth. So I don't understand. Doctor, yes you do. This isn't Earth. This isn't real. It's some kind of artificial material that lasts it. These are not real trees. You're not the real Sarah. Sarah steps back and produces a pistol. Sarah, get back, Doctor. Dot I knew at once, you see, the real Sarah wasn't wearing a scarf. Doctor takes the scarf from his pocket and takes his hat 
and knocks Sarah's arm down. She shoots to the ground, drops a weapon and grabs her. Doctor, what have you done with Sarah? Where is the real Sarah? Facile smile puts, pulls away from him. It falls around. The film face mask falls off to reveal the secretary's side. 